How can you connect the Rode Wireless Go to the iPhone? Because the iPhone has only one lightning connector and the Rode Wireless Go has here a normal audio output. The Rode Wireless Go comes with a cable, which is not suitable for it, because both are so-called TRS connectors, and for the adapter that comes with the Apple iPhones, you need another TRS connector. Now you have two options. You can not use the cable that came with it. You can buy a new cable, which is called Rode SC7. Here you can see that the connector is gray and you have four poles instead of three. These fit into the adapter here and now you can simply connect the road to your iPhone as normal and that will definitely work. This cable costs about $10. There is a simpler or cheaper alternative, but it requires a little more cableage. You practically have your old cable, which came with the road, it still comes in here and you buy an adapter, which is called SC4 from Rode and connects the whole thing. Now of course you have a somewhat uglier cable mess. Now you can connect the whole thing to the iPhone again and you can also use the Rode Wireless Go on the iPhone. As I said, it looks a bit wild. I prefer this SC7 cable, because it looks nicer. One adapter less, but it works with both. And this adapter here costs only 3,50 euro. This one costs 10 euro. So it's up to you, which one you want to use for it, and which one you don't. Does this combination work with all video apps that are on the iPhone? Yes, even with the standard video app that comes with the iPhone. No matter if you use the short version or if you use the long version, they both work with the Rode Wireless Go with any video app, which can distinguish if headphones are plugged in or not. Because the iPhone now thinks that a headset is plugged in and uses the built-in microphone of the headset.